Hi friends, I'm a magician and today I'm going to show you the ins and outs of the binders I bring along with me to gigs. Uh, this should be helpful whether you're a magician, musician, DJ, any type of entertainer, or really any type of on-site service provider. Uh, these are uh, include checklists, schedules, everything you need to know when you're on site. I find it pretty overwhelming when I arrive at the venue for the first time and don't know what to do. So by having everything uh, written down, it really helps me. Uh, so there's two different binders. Most of the content is the same. I'll show you what's similar, what's different. So the first thing is the, the production schedule. Make sure that you can see it. Cool. Uh, so this is our production schedule. Has the, uh, the date, the city, nice and big. Uh, and then the uh, the venue, the address, and how far it is uh, from us in Kitchener Waterloo, the type of events, the type of service we're providing, as well as the length, and then an, an overview of our day. Uh, I picked up the truck uh, from Enterprise uh, Truck Rental in Guelph, loaded the truck then, uh, left the city then. Uh, that was the time I met uh, our technician uh, at the GO station, picked them up, and then we went to, uh, onwards to Peerleboro. Uh, when you're uh, in the town for the first time, it's really nice to do a little bit of research on uh, well-reviewed restaurants uh, so you know uh, where to go when you're hungry when you arrive in town. And then an overview of us uh, arriving at the venue, loading in, setting up. This was our first, uh, first service, if you will, uh, Mingle Magic for 60 minutes. Guests sat down to sit dinner. <laughs> Guests sat down to have dinner. Uh, our dinner provided by the venue. Sometimes it's provided by the venue. Sometimes we use a meal delivery service. Uh, it's just nice to do a little bit of research so you know uh, what to expect. And then there's a, a dance going on there. That's when we have the stage show start for 60 minutes. And then strike just means packing up equipment. Uh, and then a little note that while we're packing up, there's going to be a, a DJ and a dance going on. And we're going to have to navigate around them. And then this is when we expect to load out. This is when we actually expect to be out of the venue. So that's when we start moving stuff out of the venue. It takes us 15 minutes. By 11 o'clock, we're out. And then uh, I also like to include the, the venue's contact information as well as the client's contact information. Uh, in this case, it was the same. Uh, the venue hired us. Uh, so really simple. Uh, and that's the same in both binders here. Just a uh, schedule to keep everybody uh, on track. And then uh, a checklist. So these are, are very different in the two binders. Completely different. I'll show you both here. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Sorry for the camera work. And this is simply, oh goodness, I'm tipping everything over. All right. Uh, so this is simply a checklist of uh, what I do when I arrive at the venue. And this is what our uh, technician uh, was doing at the venue that day. Uh, so really simple stuff. But I find if I don't write it down, it doesn't get done or I skip it or it gets done too late or it's chaotic. <laughs> so by having an actual checklist and you see, I, I don't even use it half the time. Some of them are, are unchecked, uh, but just having it written down and being able to reference it has really helped me. Uh, so I'll hold these up so you can see it. I won't talk through everything, uh, but it's, it simply goes through um, what I should be doing when I get to the venue. Uh, I want to take pictures and photos of the, the venue. I want to meet with clients. I want to start selling up equipment, so on and so on. And then here's the list for our technician, Evelyn, what they were doing that day. Just goes through things uh, one by one. Uh, some of them are like really detailed and nitty gritty, uh, but really important. Like uh, we want to tape down the cables and we want to uh, check the house lights. And uh, you know what, why, why don't I talk some through these? Uh, <laughs> talk through some of these, uh, cause I guess they are important. Uh, so the first thing that I do at a gig is uh, take pictures and photos of the uh, the venue so I can use them in social media and then meet with the client, uh, sort out the balance, whether there's a check or a credit card payment, whatever, uh, give them a little gift and uh, ask them about volunteers that uh, they want to see on stage that night. 
Uh, and then I assess the layout of the venue, decide whether we should move any tables, chairs, decor. Uh, really important to make that decision uh, right then and not once you have everything set up. Uh, that's not the, not the time you want to realize there's an issue. Uh, so address that right up front. And then uh, the first thing I'll do is uh, look for outlets in the room. Uh, make sure there's going to be enough power. Uh, I know how many, uh, how many circuits we need, how, uh, how much energy all of our equipment uses. So I, I run around the venue and, and run all the uh, power cables. Uh, set up the front of house equipment. So that's the mics, the antenna, the music, uh, our mixer, all the sound equipment. Uh, set lists, uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but I set up the set lists. Uh, set up my round table and all the props. Uh, set up the video cameras, uh, spike the chairs on the stage. And spiking just means uh, taping, so making little marks on the, on the stage floor where you want to, uh, to put your props. And then setting up the drapes, uh, uh, focusing the lights, uh, EQing the sound, testing the, uh, the power, and oh yeah, uh, this is an important detail. Uh, so what we do here is we turn all our lights on and blast the music as loud as we're going to use it. Uh, and then we find out whether it's going to blow any breakers, whether it's going to trip any fuses. And I'd rather figure that out uh, before the show when we're setting up than during the show as I have many times. Uh, and then once we're all set, uh, take photos of the venue, uh, once again for social media content to show um, how nice we made the place. And I'll show you uh, Evelyn's checklist here too, real quick. Uh, so level the stage. Uh, so we bring uh, like little little shims, little pieces of wood and plastic along with us in case the stage is uneven. Uh, so this uh, we walk around the stage. Sometimes they're they're portable stages and they're a little wonky. So walk around the stage and uh, shim it up, level it out if necessary. Uh, tape uh, different things to the stage, tape the edges of the stage, uh, the arrows to the steps. Uh, it really gets nitty gritty and annoying here. Uh, but just all the little details that you want to take care of. Uh, so you set up the lights, the stands, uh, just goes over the nitty gritty of it. Uh, so the house lights, we want to know where the uh, the switches are so that when it's time for the uh, time for showtime, uh, we can turn off the, the lights in the room. Set, set up the speakers, set up the stage curtains, uh, tape down all the cables. We only do that once we test everything, make sure that the, the lights and the sound is working. Uh, we need chairs for the show, so we grab them. Uh, focus the lights, that just means like aiming them and making sure they're pointed in the right spot. Set the speaker volume uh, and equalize the microphones. And this is just uh, going through our sound equipment and uh, uh, fiddling with it till <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, so that's the checklist before the gig. And uh, we also have a pre-show checklist here. Uh, so this is just what happens right before the show um, in order. So we turn on the stage lights, uh, turn off the house lights. That's the, the lights in the room where the audience is sitting. Uh, the client introduces me, and then play music, and the show is a roll-in. Uh, switching back to my binder, I have a slightly different pre-show checklist. So silence phones, that just means turn off my phone, put it on vibrate, so that it doesn't ring during the show. Not the good look. <laughs> Uh, get dressed. I know this stuff seems super simple, uh, but uh, I find it so chaotic at a gig sometimes. Sometimes it's really peaceful and laid back, but other times you're, you're running around just trying to make it happen. Uh, so having everything written down really helps. Uh, so put on my microphone. Uh, I have forgotten to put on my microphone before the uh, show before. Uh, not ideal, uh, so just a reminder to put on my microphone, check all the props. Uh, I needed a prop knife in my jacket pocket. Uh, a few details of what I do before the show. I review the script to look at the, the jokes I really want to make that night. Uh, look over my notes, uh, the names of the volunteer, the name of the client name, so I can thank them during the show. Uh, test the mic, start the video cameras. Uh, we record the whole show and it's really important to uh, remember to turn on the cameras, start them uh, recording. Uh, and then after the show, 
I have another little checklist here. Uh, clear the props off of stage so no one's tripping over them. Uh, stop the video cameras, uh, get them out of the audience. We normally set up a, a tripod out uh, in the middle of the room. Uh, get a video testimonial. So uh, ask the client for a uh, review of the show essentially and uh, record them saying it and we can use that uh, for our marketing. And then uh, re remove the microphone. Uh, really simple things, but uh, it's helped me to have them written down. Uh, so prop list is next. And this, uh, this I use uh, before the gig, during the gig, after the gig. So this just goes through the nitty gritty of all the props that I use on stage. There's also a equipment manifest back here somewhere, I think, yes. Uh, which is another checklist, uh, but this is just for the props. So all the stuff that's in this, uh, this container right here, the prop case is covered on this. Uh, and because this changes, a lot of these items are consumable and need to be maintained or replaced between shows. Uh, so before the gig, when I'm looking over all the equipment, I uh, go through this list to make sure I have everything I need. Uh, so for instance, uh, I do a trick with some big metal rings and I want to make sure I have all six of them. So I go through this and if there's six, I check it off that it's packed. I go through things, all I need for that and the nitty gritty. You know, I just go through the whole list and one by one before the gig, make sure everything is packed and where I need it to be. And then once I arrive at the gig, I go through this list again and check everything off as I set it up, uh, preparing for the show. Uh, spike uh, means uh, making a mark on the, uh, the stage floor. Uh, so some of these, uh, some of these tricks is really important that they're, uh, uh, the stage is level or we have them a certain spot on the stage where I'm not hitting my head or nothing's in the way or anything like that. Uh, so sometimes we make a little mark on the stage floor so we know exactly where to put the prop. Uh, so just making sure we do that ahead of time. And as you see, this is uh, pretty willy-nilly, only half filled out, <laughs> but I find it helpful nonetheless. Uh, so that's a checklist I would typically uh, do right before the gig uh, for whatever reason I didn't this night. And then uh, after the gig, I make sure I pack up everything, don't wanna leave anything at the venue. So went through this, make sure everything was packed and obviously missed some things. Uh, I think this gig was uh, a little bit hectic. Uh, I know there, there was a DJ performing and there was people dancing while we were packing up. So uh, I don't think we forgot anything, but uh, the checklist just didn't get completed. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, the set list. Uh, so this is the set list. Uh, this will be really familiar to uh, musicians. And this is just uh, an order of everything I'm doing that night on stage and uh, an order of the, of the tricks, the, the routines I'm doing. Uh, and this only has to really make sense to me. Uh, so it's just a keyword for each item. And I have a bunch of these. I don't want to show you that yet, but I have a bunch of these. And when we get to the gig, just tear one of these out of the binder and tape it up somewhere that ideally I can see it and the audience can't. It doesn't matter if they see it, it's just distracting. So I try to put it to a spot where it's out of their eyesight. Uh, so a bunch of them, uh, and there's even some different stuff here. Uh, so that's, that's for a 45 minute show. It's a slightly different set list. Uh, this was for a 60 minute show. And then here's some more uh, things to tear out the binder if we need them. These are uh, signs uh, basically for us. So if we're uh, generally as a change room, we use a, a maintenance room or storage room or an empty conference room, whatever it is. And uh, we take these on the door. Uh, so when we're running around the venue, we know which room is ours and <laughs> where our change room is. Uh, so it just helps us uh, navigate the venue. And uh, coming to the end here, uh, we have our equipment manifest. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing anything here in this other binder. I don't think so. No, just notes. But that, that's also very important. Uh, I love getting notes uh, during the show. And uh, I ask whoever is working with me to uh, jot down notes uh, during the show on like what goes well, what doesn't go well. Just like, just everything. I love hearing all this because like, I hardly remember what goes. Like when I'm doing a show, it's so face fast paced stuff is happening that sometimes I forget the little details. 
so having a, an outside view of uh, what's going on and what could be done better, really nice. Uh, so I uh, encourage you to encourage uh, who's ever with you to uh, take some notes during your show. Uh, I, I've learned more from uh, listening to my technicians than, uh, than ideas coming out of my head, that's for sure. All right, um, all right, getting back to the equipment manifest. So this is an overview of all the equipment that we bring. Uh, so the prop list was just the items that are included in uh, this prop case, but here's absolutely everything. So, uh, so says who's working that day? It was Evelyn and I, the, the date of the gig. And I go through this uh, packing up stuff. So R stands for ready. Uh, that's when I'm preparing the stuff here in the workshop and making sure everything is ready uh, to go out the door. So I go through everything one by one, make sure uh, all the essential equipment is ready. Some of it needs maintenance between gigs, some of it doesn't. Uh, it's just nice to know that you have everything. Uh, so go through everything, make sure it's all ready. And I initial it myself when uh, uh, and I'm confident that uh, it's all good to go. Uh, and I've always made a rule for myself to do this uh, the night before the gig. Uh, and I'm usually up half the night doing it because uh, there's so many details and I, I tend to put a lot of effort into it. Uh, into some of these little details right before the gigs, uh, just because they pop into my head or refreshes my memory. Anyway, uh, really, really helpful to have this, uh, this um, equipment manifest ahead of time. So when you're uh, preparing everything, you're, you're confident that it's all uh, set up and ready to go, and you can go to, uh, go to bed, rest assured that everything's uh, gonna be great the next day. And the, the O stands for out. So that's when everything moves out of my garage into the uh, the truck uh, that we're going to use to transport the equipment to the show. So check everything off, make sure everything is out of here and into the truck. And then the in is when it's back into uh, my garage after the gig. So make sure everything's ready, make sure everything makes it into the truck, and then make sure everything makes it back into, uh, into the garage. Because it's... Uh, it happens, but it's disappointing when you leave equipment uh, at gigs. Uh, so having uh, having everything laid out like this uh, really helps me, because uh, I've, I've certainly forgotten equipment at gigs, and uh, it becomes the property of the venue <laughs> pretty much, because uh, we leave town and we're never there again. Uh, so it's like, ideal not to do that. So having a checklist is nice. And then just uh, just some notes. I have like my. Uh, these are some jokes that I want to include. So a new monologue I was working on. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, just jokes and notes and uh, little stuff that I'm working on. Uh, look at all them notes. Yeah, so essentially just blank paper on the back where I, I uh, write down things that's uh, occur to me backstage or things I want to uh, remember or uh, whatever. All right, hopefully that wasn't too much rambling for you. Uh, I'm like, I'm somehow nervous even, even though I'm in my living room alone. Uh, so excuse, excuse me for the nervous rambling, uh, but I hope this helped. Uh, it just shows you uh, what I bring along to gigs with me and uh, I'm hoping you can use some of this too. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want me to go any other details, um, leave a comment. Uh, happy to help you. All right, chat with you soon. Bye-bye.